Hello, everyone. This is Calvin Butler with the RBBS Logistics Learning Center and the National Dispatchers Network. Tonight is Tuesday night. It is 8 p.m., so that must mean it's time for Tuesday night spot training. Tonight's spot training is going to be on straight dispatch, okay? That's what the spot training is going to be on. Uh, going to be on straight dispatch and how to use that um, uh, 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 that uh, particular feature. And we're going to be going over, you know, looking up some loads and things like that, showing you all how to use that feature effectively. But before that, let me make some announcements. Um, in case y'all didn't know, okay, um, we got some big things coming up here this year. Um, last night on the what used to be Monday Night Orientation, it is now Monday Night's How To Series. Okay, so we decided that we were going to do away with the orientations every Monday and every other Monday and just do the orientation. We're going to have one live orientation once per month. Okay, we're going to try to have that in the middle of the month. So we're going to do one live orientation once per month. There's no need for us to do orientations every week. Why? Because we have about eight, nine orientations that are online right now that are exact same as the, as the other uh, seven or eight. So they're all the same. So there's no need for us to keep doing the same thing over and over. You know, it's, so we just do them once a month. In case we have something that changes, then we can update the orientation. All right? But you all have access to the orientations um, that are all the same, and we're going to do one live one once per month, okay? Um, have a meeting with the board. Um, we've got a lot of people who are delinquent or late on their uh, monthly subscriptions. So what the board has started doing is started um, suspending access to those who are more than seven days um, past due on their monthly subscription. You're not revoked. They're just suspending your access to the back office, and then they're seeing a little something that says that you are overdue um, to reactivate your back office access. Um, please remit payment, you know, um, immediately. All right? So just keep that in mind. If you're having problems getting into your back office, it's probably because you are a little late on your monthly subscription. So check your emails and go on and take care of that, and then you'll get your access back. Plain and simple. All right, that's how it works. All right. Um, Monday nights. What we're going to be doing for Monday nights instead of the orientation, we're going to be doing what's called the um, um, the how-to series, and we figured that those would be better. Why? Because every because we've been getting a lot of calls from individuals saying, well, how do I find this? How do I do this? How do I use this feature? How do I use this tool? Where do I find this resource? Okay, and then we always say, well, didn't you attend the live orientation or didn't you watch the orientation? Well, yeah, but I'm still having trouble finding it. So what we figured out is this. A lot of you will watch the orientation, but you may have several things going on at one time. You may be watching the orientation and dealing with the kids. You may be watching the orientation and dealing with, you know, stuff at work. You may be watching the orientation and doing a whole bunch of other stuff. Or you may be watching the orientation and getting a little sleepy or whatever it may be. So you're not watching every part of the orientation. You're watching bits and pieces of it, and you're missing stuff. And instead of going back and taking the time to watch the whole orientation and figure out what you missed, you just call those up and say, hey, how do I do this? Well, so <laughs> to, to, um, to offset that or to help solve that problem, we decided to start doing a how-to series. Now, uh, let me start sharing my screen here real quick so I can show you all what the how-to series looks like. Let's share my screen. There we go. We started doing the how-to series. And go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. This is what channel. All right, this is what the how to series looks like. Um, but as you all can see, um, oh, hold on, let me go back to my channel, folks. Oh, see right here. 
owner operators, uh, you know, this is basically what the how to series is. And so now what you're all gonna have is you're gonna have another section in your back office video library. And it's gonna say how to series. So anything you're looking for on how to do something, it's gonna be right there. So every Monday night we're gonna pick part of the process and show you all how to do it or how to find it or how to do whatever. We started off with how to what? Locate owner operators so you can pitch them. That's the first thing. So that's, that's the first thing you gotta do. After learning your script and getting ready to start making them calls, the first thing you gotta do is what? Find the owner operators. So it makes sense for us to start the how to series with how to locate owner operators. Dispatch training. Okay. The next one will probably be something, you know, that's the is whatever the next step is. How to pitch the owner operators. Okay? So we'll probably go with the pitch. The next one after that is probably gonna be what? How to do a follow up with the owner operators. The next one I'm gonna do is how to present your dispatch agreement and the profile sheet. So we haven't gone over all the steps. So now when y'all need to know where to find something, it's very simple. Just go to your video library, look for the how to, do whatever you need to do, whatever you're looking for, and just click on it. And bam, it'll be right there. It'll be short, it'll be precise, you know, it'll be only about that particular subject, so there's no need for you to you know, try and figure out, okay, when is he going to talk about this, when is he going to talk about that, when is this coming up, well, when is that coming up? You're going to know exactly what you're looking at, so that's what it's only going to be about on how to do that subject, okay? Hopefully that will help you all out, you know, greatly and give you more, give you more precise and a strategic detail, um, you know, outline of what you're looking for so that way you all can find it quickly, you can assimilate it really quick, and also if you've got people you're trying to train, it'll be easier for you all to refer them to a certain video and say, well, go look at the how to do this or how to do that, how to do your invoice and how to do this, how to create an invoice or whatever it's going to be. So eventually we're going to have a, a, the whole series, we're going to have the whole, you know, step-by-step -step procedures in different how-to videos. Does that make sense to everyone? Yes, that sounds good. All right, great. Yes. Great, 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 great. So that's what our goal was to for it to make sense and be easy for everyone to follow. Next announcement. Um, I, I am looking for partners. Okay, I am looking for partners. Um, starting up this starting this year, it's going to be after New Year's. It's probably going to be right around February or March. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get another. Authority and it's going to be a um, carrier's authority, and we're going to start. Um, we're going to increase our carrier. Um, we're going to start our own trucking company. Right now, we have the dispatch firm, and I got a couple of guys out just driving a couple of trucks. But I'm actually going to start an actual trucking company. It's going to be in the same name, or be best transport. It's going to be a actual trucking company where we're going to be leasing on 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 operators. And we're going to try to build this as big as we can build it. Now, what am I looking for? I'm looking to partner with um, a group of individuals, and we're all going to be partners in this, and everyone's going to have a different role. So my ideal partners will be, I'm looking for at least one broker, someone who has a broker authority, okay? Um, obviously, the reason why we want a broker within our administration is why? Because we want someone who can go out and get the carriers, I'm sorry, get the um the shippers and get, you know, more dedicated freight and things like that so that our so that our carriers can have ready loads to run. I also want to partner with a very good dispatcher, someone who owns you know, one of you all who owns a dispatch firm and you're very good at what you do. Obviously, um we're probably gonna be looking for someone who has a corporate um Enrollment who has a you know a a whole bunch of dispatchers that they're hiring and they're willing to expand and then we can use that dispatch firm to fill in the freight that we don't have uh, from the shippers that are dedicated. 
Um, I'm also looking for someone who is an experienced owner operator, someone that has at least at least a minimum of seven years experience behind the wheel as an owner operator. So I'm looking for an experienced owner operator. Okay. And those are going to be the divisions within the trucking company that we're going to, um, 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 and we're going to run this trucking company. I don't have the time to be there 24 hours a day, seven days a week to keep an eye on things. That's why I'm looking for partners. Um, I will take care of paying for the the um, um, the authority and the insurance, things of that nature. And I'm looking for individuals who can help me to, to run this. And we're looking to build this as quickly as possible. We're going to do a whole bunch of branding. We're going to get out there. We're going to brand. We're going to brand. We're going to brand. We're going to bring on the owner operators who are probably going to be paying about 75% to 80% to the owner operators. Um, and we're going to be keeping anywhere from 25% um, um, to 20, from 20 to 25%. I haven't quite made up my mind yet. Um, I was thinking about doing it at the 73 and 3rd%, which is kind of like the standard in the industry, but I want to do a little bit better than the standard offer, you know, 75%, and then we, then we will take that 25%. And then uh, if we if, if we get enough carriers and we got enough freight, then we should do pretty good um, as, as a trucking company. All right? So I'll be announcing that probably, well, I just announced it. I'll probably be putting out the information for you all to submit your resumes, things of that nature, um, probably here within the next um, couple of weeks. Um, we're going to be putting out some information on, on where you can send your resumes into. And uh, we will be accepting video resumes. So if you want to shoot a video and tell us about your qualifications and why you would be a good choice, do so. And, um, and we'll contact those that we are highly interested in and go through a, you know, a vetting, uh, a vetting process and, and, and look to bring this on and do some great things. Uh, our goal for this first year in the trucking company, um, our revenue goal, well, our goal is to by the mid year, July or August, we're going to have about 50 carriers signed on. We're going to have about, about um, 50 on operators. Okay. Um, our goal by the end of the year, we're going to shoot for 100. Um, trucks on the road by the end of 2020. Okay, and we're looking to do you know 1.5 to 2.5 million a year in revenue. So um, that's our first year goal. Okay, uh, and then we've got a five year. We have a five year target, and then we have a ten year target also too. But we're looking to grow this um, very big, very fast, and get out there and start making it happen. All right, so. Keep that in mind, those of you who are expressing some interest in it. Um, there's something, you know, for just about everyone can, that they can that you all can submit if you're a dis if you're on a dispatch firm or if you're one of the dispatchers, you know, obviously um talk your name in the hat. If you're if you have a broker's um uh, um um bond and you are a broker, toss your name in the hat. If you have seven years experience behind the wheel as an auto operator, toss your name in the hat. <laughs> okay. And and once we get out there, we'll discuss uh, after we narrow it down, um, doing the narrowing down or the betting process. We'll go into what what the um, the percentages um, would be, what the shares would be, and things of that nature, and the titles for each person. All righty, let's get started. How's everybody doing? All right, can everyone see my screen? Yes. Yeah. All right. So. We're going to do um, straight dispatch training um, tonight, okay, which is the straight dispatch right there. Now, um, first thing first, y'all probably are saying to yourself, well, how do I get on to the straight dispatch? Now, each one of you all received a link when you signed up with us. And when you paid your, uh, your enrollment fee, we sent you all some information. We sent you all a couple of a couple of emails. One of them was a very long email, and it, it was our new members welcome packet. In that welcome packet, you received a discount link to
to straight dispatch. It is only for our members. I, I, I'm not going to tell you what it is because these videos go out and we don't want people to start using that link and just start getting a discount when they're not members. It is only for the RBBS members. It is a specific link that we send you that when you click on to it, it takes you over to our dis to the straight dispatches, um, the RBBS members page. And, and when you sign up there, you all get a real, real big discount. He normally charges anywhere from from fourteen ninety nine to twenty nine ninety nine per month to access to get your license key and to access the straight dispatch software. Our members, you all get it for nine dollars and ninety nine cent per month, so that's a significant discount. And then on top of that, we give you an additional discount on your monthly subscription payment with us of four dollars and ninety nine cent. So we take off four dollars ninety nine cent off of the thirty. Nine ninety five, and that makes your monthly subscription us only thirty four ninety five, and you pay your nine ninety nine to straight dispatch. But really, you're when it all boils out, you're really you know looking at it. It's like four dollars and ninety nine cents. Why? Because you're getting that discount from us too at the same time. So it kind of uh, it kind of shakes out, you know, um, in the wash. Okay. So when you click that link, you go on. And then it will take you to an area where you can download your straight dispatch. You know, you sign up. You got to sign up, right? You got to create all this, you know, your little login or whatever you got you know, you to create. Then you got to pay um, your, you know, your nine ninety nine or whatever the case may be. I'm not sure if he's still doing the um, uh, the trial period where you get it for free for a while and then you pay later. I'm not sure if he's still doing that. But if he is great, if he's not, hey, that's his business, you know. But um, but but either way, you all should be able to get this right this year. Now, once you um once you do that, you're gonna receive an email from uh, Straight Dispatch and Khalid Hodge, who is the owner and the developer of that software, and it is going to be your um your license key. Now, you will not be able to activate your software without the license key, okay? Um, and what you're going to do is when you go in and then you download it, you're going to put up the Firefox, uh, and, and you must have Mozilla Firefox in order for this to operate, okay? So you're going to pull up your Mozilla Firefox, and then you're going to go and you're going to download the straight dispatch. When you download it, it is going to appear here at the top of your screen on Firefox. You all see it right there. It's a little blue truck. It says freight dispatch helper. Okay, you can click on it. It opens it up. Okay, but this is what it looks like. Okay, um, if you um, need some help with it, now also you can also pull up uh, little stuff here within the straight dispatch. You notice here it says help and support. If you need help, go there and click the support line and contact Mr. Khalid Hodge. Now, if you are a member of our platform. The easiest way to contact him is to do what? Go into our Facebook chat group and just start typing in his name, and it should pull him up, and you all should send him a, a message directly. I'm telling you, that is the fastest way to get a response from him because he is always monitoring his Facebook Messenger. Okay? Um, so if you want a quick response from him, that's the way to do it. Go through Facebook and do it within our chat group. Okay? Um it has a thing that says request low board. When you click that, what happens is it's going to pull up um, what I'm. It's going to pull up your um, your email thing here, and then once you load it up, you're going to be able to uh, send him an email. And basically, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be letting him know. Uh, you're, going to, you're going to type in what low board. What, what I'm, I'm sorry. You're going to copy and paste the low board URL, and you're going to paste it in there, and you're going to send him a little message saying, hey, I'm requesting to make this uh, low board compatible with straight dispatch. Um, and then he'll work on getting making that low board compatible. Now, um, there are several low boards that are already compatible. How do you find those out? You go over here to your little drop-down thing right here, and you go over here to your little add-ons. What about add-ons? Right there. Go see your little add-ons right there. Click on your add-ons. You should pull up straight dispatch helper. There it is right there. All right. You gotta click you gotta click on it. 
right? It's going to give you the details. Right now, the top compatible load boards are that low board power that, that low board truckers edge, one, two, three low board, truckers um, path low board, and direct freight low board. Now, if you want additional low board added on, <coughs> again, go back up to where it says um, submit low boards, and you submit them, and then he will work on getting making them compatible. Okay? So those, but those are the low boards that this works with right now. Okay? So, and that's how you find them. Okay, very simple. All righty. All right, so now let's go ahead and get started and get into this and show you all how this all works. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to your back office, mydispatcher.org. So you're going to go over to the dispatcher tools and resources. If you are not a member of our network, you are not going to be able to access this part of our site. If you are um, not a member of our network, if, you, if you've not signed up and paid your your enrollment fee and start your subscriptions, you can only access these three areas here, the home um, link, the who are we, and the private consultation. You are not going to be able to access anything in the more section. So when you put your cursor over the more section, put up a drop down, and you have all of the secure back office um, links are there, which means you won't be able to access any of those without a login, and you're only going to get a login if you are a paid subscription member. All right, so our members are going to be able to go to Dispatcher Tools and Resources. When you get the Dispatcher Tools and Resources, we're going to go down to the lower boards, okay? Lower boards should be at the very bottom. And we're going to start with... For demonstration purposes tonight, we're going to use the direct freight. Why? Because I like direct freight. <laughs> okay, I, I like direct freight. That's that. That's actually my favorite logo. That and and um and um 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 um, um, um truckers path. Okay, so direct freight is my is my favorite logo board. Um, there's several reasons why I like it. Uh, one thing has a low map. Um, it also has some other stuff on here uh, that I like. It, did y'all know that you have a, um, a truck locator and a truck map on uh, direct freight as well? But it says, you know, view my trucks, or or you can go to um, a truck map, um, and if you go over here where it says, right now it's on, the owner operators and what's it called, but if you go over here where it says shippers and brokers, you click on, and y'all see that? When you click over the shippers and brokers, you can go to a truck map. You see that truck map? You can actually, you can pull up a truck map and it'll tell you where trucks are. You know, it tells you how, tells you how many trucks are, you know, are available here, and where people have come on, on this load board and they made themselves available for loads. So you do have a truck map on here. I just thought I'd, I'd let y'all know that. Because we, cause we, cause we can access both shippers and brokers, um, that area, as well as the um, carriers and the owner operators. Normally, we have it set to the carriers and owner operators, so that's primarily what you're looking for most of the time is just loads, okay? But you do have a truck map where you can locate trucks on there as well. So we can go to, but since we're going to go to the load map, we're going to go to the load map. All right. Who has a state that they would, you all would like us to look in? What state? Y'all know what? I don't think I started my recording. Can we do North Carolina today? Yeah, hold on. Let me go back and start my recording because I don't think we started the recording. I really don't. Been giving all this great information and, and, and no one is not being recorded. I think it's because I started it in the beginning. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I did start my recording. I don't know. Well, okay. I guess I did. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I did start my recording. And you all can actually see our screen, so I guess I'm on top of things. All right, you want to start in North Carolina? Someone want to start in North Carolina? Yes. All right, great. And I like the map because I like starting with the map. Why? Because you go to North Carolina and you can immediately see that there are 1,108 loads in North Carolina. 
active loads right now. So we go North Carolina. And these are all your active loads in North Carolina. Now, another thing you all can do, too, you can click where it says pay rate. Click pay rate, and it's going to pull up all the ones that have their rates listed first. Okay? So it makes it very easy for you to go through and look at the rates. Right? Now, when you're onto the load board, and, you know, if you've got a carrier out there that says, you know, and on their profile sheet, they noted that I want loads that's paying, what, $2.25 per mile or better. My minimum amount that I need is $2.25 per mile or $3 per mile. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to your straight dispatch license thing up here. You're going to go up here and you're going to put in what you are looking for. You can put in, you can do a two point. Seven five. If you think with two dollars and seventy five cent, or you can also just do a click the little button and raise it up, you know, to to to, to three, lower it down to two, or you can raise it up to two, to, to whatever you wanted to, two, you know, three, four, five, or, or whatever the case may be. But we're gonna go for the two point seven five. Why? Because this is winter time, and two point seven five in this time of the year is a decent rate. Do you all agree with that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So $2.75 cent for this time of year is a decent rate. So let's go ahead and put in that. All right. Then we're going to pick a color. We're going to pick um, either gray, red, green, or blue. Now, I'm going to tell you all something. If you're picking the green or some of the lighter colors, it is going to be hard to see the numbers or the letters when they light up. Okay. But if you're picking something like a gray, I think it works better with the gray. You click the save, the refresh. You see how y'all see how it looks now? With the gray, you can actually see the wording, right? Do y'all see that? Yes. Yes, yeah, that's right. Y'all see, see the difference? So I like the gray, okay? I like the gray. Now, um, the thing about the gray, also now, you got some lighter shades of gray. Um, but I like the gray. Why? Because it has all of the, you know, the earmarks. And you can actually see everything, and it's easy to distinguish what you know uh, what you're looking for. Now, so we set our let's call it two dollars seventy five cents. We set it for, for great. Now, down here also, you all see where it says include origination deadhead, the old deadhead. That's for that, and that uh, adds the origin deadhead miles. To your CPM. You also have down there include D deadhead. That's for your destination deadhead mile. So if you're looking for a precise um, calculation of the cents per mile with your deadheads included, you're going to click here where it says your origination deadhead. All right? That's how far you got to go to get to the load. All right? So if you put that in there and you click save, it's going to change some things. You notice a lot of stuff went away. Because a lot of the stuff now that was close, it is no longer what? $2.75. Why? Because the deadhead has changed the calculations. Y'all see what happened with that? Yeah, it makes a difference. Did y'all see that? Exactly. Big difference. And we're going to put in your your origination we have North Carolina, but let's put in um not the entire state. Let's look for um if we put in North Carolina, um, let's say um uh, Raleigh. Right? Let's do Wilmington. All right, let's do Wilmington then.
That's W H, right? There it is, right there. Wilmington. Yep. All right. So we do Wilmington, all right? And let's do us. And let's redo it. Now let's change your radius. Let's change it to 50 miles. And uh, let's say 50, 50. Good enough. Let's search for it again. All right. So now we're done Wilmington. And with that dead head in there, and let's go ahead and click our rate so we can get all the rates lined up. Now, with that dead head in there, you're not seeing a whole bunch at the 275, right? Because we've got that dead head in there, right? So there's nothing in here right now that's equal to the 275 with the dead head included. Why? Because if you see here, look at some of these dead head miles, okay? The trip miles is 701 on this one. But you got a deadhead mile of what? It's, um, let's go. Yeah, you got, you got 46 miles 46. on your deadhead. Yeah, you got 46 miles on your deadhead. Let's well, drop it down to 234. You see what I'm So if we were to change this, let's say to 225. With the dead head included, watch what happens. With the dead head included, you see how it, now we got some stuff that's showing up. Y'all see that? Now you got some stuff that's actually showing up. You got this load right here that's even with the dead head of 46 miles, it's, it's 701 mile trip, it's paying $2.34. Per, um, per, per mile, which is greater than that 225 mm -hmm. that we were looking for. Okay? That's still a good rate. And that's going from, um, ooh, let's say, Teachy, North Carolina, to Buffalo, New York, and that's paying $1,750. Right? Then you got another one that's got dead head miles of 30 miles, and it's paying. Two dollars and thirty-two cents um, per mile, and it's paying eight hundred bucks, and the, um, it's only three hundred and fifteen miles. These are trip miles. So, all right, so that's what you got leaving out of Wilmington. Now, if you take out the dead head, you go just on the straight. Let's say go right up to two seventy-five. Take the dead head out. You do another search. You do another Wilmington. And you're probably going to get some good figures, maybe. But 275 might be a little much. That's still a little much for leaving out of the Wilmington area. Okay? We're not really finding anything leaving out of Wilmington that's paying quite that much. All right. Um, so, oh, now why don't you choose our uh, Wilmington? Are, are you, um, you have a carrier there? I do. I know several carriers here in Wilmington. Okay. What are they asking for as far as rates? Two twenty-five, actually. That's why when you came up with the two thirty-five, I said that was a good rate. Okay. Okay, cool. So if you're doing 225 without the dead head, you're going to get probably quite a few of them. See there? Mm. You got um, you got a couple of them here without the dead head. So you should have quite a few of them that popped up without the dead head. Yep, see down here? You got quite a few of them down there. Uh, going to switch over to the pay rate. There we go. Pay rate, and there they go. Um, you got one here that's that's paying two thousand fifty four cent without the dead head miles um included. Um, that's a van load three hundred fifteen miles. Is uh is a thirty mile dead head, and it's paying eight hundred bucks. And this one right here, there's the one that's paying four hundred bucks, but it's only going total trip miles one hundred and seventy. Miles, 19 miles on your dead head. That's not bad. 19 miles on the dead head. 
you know, a little short run. You could probably piece together, you know, a couple of them. You know, if you can find something that's leaving out of the, its destination area, that's going uh, somewhere else or back here. You see, but you all can see how this software makes it very easy to find which are uh, what you're looking for. It makes it quick, and the faster you're able to find loads, the quicker you're going to be able to satisfy your what. Your carriers. The carriers. Exactly. And you're going to retain a lot of your carriers. You've got to keep carriers happy. They're going to look forward to you calling them. Why? Because you can find those for them ASAP. You know, you just stroll down, look for the highlights. That's all you got to do. Stroll down, look for the highlights. All right? You might have another, another area you want us to look. I'm out of. Ohio. Ohio. Let's see here. Let's check the whole state of Ohio. Toledo, Ohio. You want to go to Toledo? Thank you. Uh, what type of money are you looking for out of there? Uh, about the same, about two twenty five, two between two twenty five, two fifty. All right, we're we'll search Toledo, Ohio, two twenty five. What do we got? We got quite a few of them. We got quite a few, a bunch of grays, bunch of a lot of them sitting right at that. Cause why? Cause the lighter the color, the lighter the shade. What does that mean? The closer it is to that two twenty five mark, right? Right. And y'all see, we got a whole bunch of very, very light shaded ones. Y'all see that, right? Mm-hmm. And that's actually 272. That's actually a little bit better than the 225. Let's look at the pay rate so we can get them all lined up here. See, see all these light shades? That's a lot of them. Let me change the shade so y'all can see it better. Let's change that shade to a blue. So we'll get Y'all can see them better. Y'all see it now? Yeah. Y'all see these shades now? A whole lot better? Yeah, there's a lot better now. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, uh, of course, the darker the shade, the more the money. There's one that's paying $8.87 per mile. Wow. Yeah. And that is a a RGN. There's another one, eight eighty seven, and that's a flatbed. That's a flatbed? Yep, there's another one flatbed for eight eighty seven. Looks like they're all going to the same place too. These are all the same loads. So are these loads? Uh the trip miles is 200 every day, almost. Yeah, look, look like these loads probably leave daily. So the trip miles is 248 miles. They're all picking up in Toledo, and they're all dropping off in Push Lynch. And where? Push Lynch, P-U-S-L-I-N-C-H. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I ain't Push Lynch. That. Yeah, but they're all paying the exact same thing, 2200 bucks. Shit. Excuse my language. I ain't bad. <laughs> yeah, it's good money, man. Uh, yeah. Now, whoever said there's no good freight out there, I obviously they ain't looking in the right places. But um, but there's quite a bit of there's quite a bit of money leaving out of Toledo. <laughs> so uh, mm -hmm. if you got carriers in Toledo, you need to be calling them up. But as you can see here, there's a lot of good money leaving out of Toledo. Out of Toledo, and that eight thousand that wasn't even the highest paying load on the board. How do we know that? Because the yellow one is going to be the highest paying load, and that one's paying twenty-two dollars and ninety-two cents per mile. And that's only going to Detroit. Yep, <laughs> that's that is a twelve. That 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 looks like it's a what a twelve that's mile run. Away. Yeah, that's like a that's like a what? It's a it's a fifty mile dead head, right? Uh huh. And it's a 12-mile run. 
That ain't bad. <laughs> 50, mile, 50 mile dead head. Yeah. People will do the 50 yeah, mile dead head. Yeah. It's two hundred seventy five dollars. That's one of those short loans I'm gonna tell y'all about. You may want to check that and see if that's a, uh, dedicated. A, 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 yeah, if it's a dedicated and if it's a multiple loan where you can pick it up. Because look, if you if that's if that loan runs less than like five, six, seven times all day long, because it's because it's such short miles. Right. You see what I'm saying? When you have loans that that short miles, a lot of times. You're able to run five or six of them, or at least two or three of them, right? Right. So you can just run it, then head back, grab another, and run it again, right? Exactly. It's just it's twelve miles, man. <laughs> <laughs> you pick the load up in um, in E course and run it to Detroit. It's twelve miles. Turn around, and come back, and grab another one. Turn around, and come back, and grab another one. That's paying two hundred seventy-five dollars a pop. So if you run three or four of them, what are you done for the day? Close to about a grand, right? Close to a grand. I I would I'd be happy. I tell you that. Yeah, like I told you, I mean those short runs, those are the runs that pay. You know, a lot of guys, you know, they sleeping on them short runs, man. And 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 to be honest with you, short runs is what pays you the most money if you know how to piece them together. Even if you, even if that wasn't a repeatable load, right? Right. You run that little short run, right? Then you go up and you put in what? Detroit, right? Detroit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now you starting, now you starting to get it. You go up and you put in Detroit. And then you put in, uh, with well, the same day. So <laughs> just don't even change the what's called it, right? Right. Quick search. You know, the same day. You know, look for something leaving out of Detroit. And what do you got? This little right here paying three dollars and seventy nine cents. And it's paying four hundred five dollars and it's only going to from Penley. Detroit to Penley, which is how many miles? hundred and seven miles. You you can ride out. Yeah, Finley right past the lead, though, so that, that, that's a, that's and, a and you ran right where you started at. Exactly. Yep. You done yep. ran your home. circle. Yeah, yep. you done ran your circle. You done ran your circle. Or you can pick this higher, this higher pin load. That's paying what? The $4.36. Ooh, seven fifty. That picks up in Warren. It runs to Mansfield also. Still on. That's a 17 mile dead head on a 72 mile run. You can still make that run. On top of the little show you ran, you got paid the what? The, the 275. Yeah. <laughs> See, look, y'all been allowed to make this money? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm telling you right now, once we start this, um, you know, um, this trucking division, you know, I'm going to have. I'm trying to put all the carriers on, you know, little short connected runs. But we have a lot of guys here. I'm looking to get a lot of guys here in Florida, and basically just have them out where they, they never have to leave Florida, and they can be home just about every night or every other night, and still bring home about a thousand dollars a day. That's what pretty much every trucker look for. Exactly. To be home. Make money and be yeah. home. Exactly. But if you know how to run a truck. If you know how to run the business of trucking, that's not that hard to do if you know how to run the business of trucking, which I obviously know how to do. Okay, so look. Let's look at this one. And then you got another, and you got a whole bunch of loads that's leaving out of um, the, the Detroit area, so you can piece together some loads. And if you're just looking for the higher pay load, just scroll down until you get to one that says yellow, right? Mm-hmm. That's what this that's what this software does for you. It allows you to just quickly go to what you're looking for. Okay? You like this one right here? This one picks up in uh, Utica, which is a 28-mile deadhead, and it's a 90-mile run to what? Saginaw. Saginaw. Uh, down to Saginaw. And it's you know it's a ninety mile run, paying six dollars and six seven cents per mile, 
Um, that is six hundred bucks. Man, six hundred and two seventy-five is what? Eight seventy-five. That's good money for a day's work, right? Exactly. <laughs> and then you can just head on home. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, if you, if, you, if, if you ran those two every day, because you can easily do them five days a week, right? Exactly. <laughs> so if you pick that that up and those loads run every day, you can run that load five days a week and make yourself eight hundred seventy five dollars a day. So I do the math on that. Eight seventy five times five. There ain't no chunk change, man. What we got here? Let's go calculator. That's eight seventy five times five. Four thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. A week. And you're probably spending about what? Three hundred dollars a few? Yeah, you know. Three hundred dollars a few. But I'm sure run. Exactly. Yeah, you probably spend three, four hundred dollars a few. Maybe, even if you spend five hundred dollars a few uh, for the whole week, right? Right. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you know, if you spend five hundred dollars on few, seventy-five. Yeah. I made mean, my career on that. That's two hundred one thousand dollars a year. Right. <laughs> After your few costs. <laughs> <laughs> but ain't no, but ain't no money in trucking though, y'all. <laughs> if y'all believe what the critics say, okay. There ain't no, there ain't no good paying loans out there this time of year, <laughs> right? The trucking business is going you know, to a hand in the hell basket. Ain't no, the trucking ain't making no good money no more. You can't buy no good paying loans. Well, the good paying loads they're out there, you just gotta know how to piece them together. Yep. See, you gotta I always I you gotta always hear me say this. This is a game of chess, not checkers. As an owner out business manager, you have to start thinking like a chess player and not a checkers player. And this straight dispatch gives you all a huge advantage. Straight dispatch gives you all a huge advantage. All right? And as a network, you all are the largest network that's actually using the straight dispatch. A lot of people don't even know what it is yet. They're starting to get it because he's starting to get very, very, very busy. He's... <laughs> I can... I would imagine that Mr. Hodge is probably going to quit his job this year, this coming year. Um, because he's, you know, you know, he's working two, two full-time jobs and got the straight dispatch now. But I would imagine this coming year, he's going to leave his two full-time jobs. Because I know just from the the members that we, of our members who have, um, you know, um, his software, uh, we've got. We went over four thousand members, and I'm thinking that our members he has he's got about maybe twenty percent, you know, of our members. So he's looking at what roughly eight hundred plus members just from our network, right? And what it's costing him for the um, the servers and everything, uh, you know, he's probably because it. It, it's expensive to run those servers now, and the more people he adds on to the servers, he has to get more operating speed. He has to add more, um, 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 more servers. So that does get expensive. And in case y'all didn't know, that caused your light bill to go up. <laughs> in case y'all didn't know that, that's why we have these bitcoins, um, 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 uh, mining um, facilities. You know, if you're gonna mine for bitcoins, which you're gonna, you're gonna let your computers be used. To process Bitcoin um, transactions, and they pay you with Bitcoin for each, you know, or they pay you a percentage of the Bitcoin for each transaction your computer um, is processing. But when your computer starts processing a lot of those orders and a lot of those transactions, guess what? Your server is working overtime, which is it heats up your computer 
operating system, which causes your utility bill to shoot up. That's why we need to see these people who do this for a living, Bitcoin miners, they have an entire room and they have the AC turned down for like 60 degrees. <laughs> There's an entire room or an entire apartment and it's filled with nothing but service to do the Bitcoin mining. Now, that's a serious operation where, where someone like that is probably, they're probably making about, oh, a few hundred thousand dollars per month in Bitcoin transactions. So they're doing pretty good. They're making good money, but their light bill is probably close to about $20,000 a month. Okay? Because it's, it's literally, literally like burning up all the energy. Okay? So with that being said, he's probably, you know, half his money, anywhere from 50% to probably 60% of his revenue is going toward his service. So, but he's still doing pretty good. Now, if he can find a way to get his server costs down, oh my, 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 my. But if he ever got to the point where he can get like a, an entire dedicated like warehouse or at least a storage uh, facility and he can control the temperature and get the temperature down to around 60, 55 degrees to keep it real cool, and that'll bring down his um his his energy output, which will you know cut his um his operating costs on the service. But as far as you all are concerned, this software is a great software. All right. Any questions on the on what we just went over? Any questions on the straight dispatch and how to use it? I uh, okay. I'm a new member. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, this is March one, uh, hey. Ohio. I'm a new member and uh, okay. I got in pretty late, man. I got in probably y'all probably was on here for probably twenty thirty minutes. I got in pretty late. So. Okay. <laughs> Um, right. so I was trying well, to figure, when, when would be a good time to kind of either give you a call or, you know, so I can kind of well, get help navigate through the whole, whole site. All right. What you probably need to do, you need to go watch one of the orientation videos. Have you watched one of the orientation videos? I haven't. Not yet. Okay. All right. If you are a new member, you need to go watch an orientation video. Okay. okay. Um, best thing you do is, is go to YouTube. Mm -hmm. Type in RBBS orientation. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> and watch one of the orientation videos. Pick the one that has the the latest date on it, which is probably going to be this one right here. 10-29-2019. Okay. Watch that orientation video, right? right? And then make sure you tune in to the how-to series. Okay? Okay. This was just the first one. This was the first how-to um, series, and we're starting from the beginning. So as you see the how-to series, they're going to be in the back office, too, under the video library. So you go to the back office and click on your video library, you'll be able to pull up this whole um, um, how-to series. There's only one so far. Every Monday, we do a different how-to, okay? And okay. we're doing them in order. From the very first thing you have to start doing, which is what? Getting your own operator signed up, right? So you got to know how to find them, right? So our right. first one was on how to locate owner operators. Then the next one will be on how to pitch owner operators, right? Okay. And the next one will be on how to what? Use your dispatch agreement, right? This one will be how to use your dispatch agreement, how to implement your dispatch agreement and your, and your um, how to fill out your profile or how to uh, uh, pitch, not uh, pitch, but present your profile sheet. And we're going to be doing each little one. It's going to be each segment is going to be dedicated to just that one thing. So all you all got to do is just go to your, your back office, uh, your video library, and pull up the how to series and look for the one you want to know something about. Very, we're trying to break it down to make it as simple as possible. Okay. Okay. So make it easier for you all to go through the to go through the information and be able to assimilate it. All right? All right. 
All right. Welcome on board, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. I'm, I'm ready to do my thing. Okay. Well, hopefully you're finding this um, this is uh, refreshing. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of people that come to us from different training platforms, and so far we've had all positive reviews as far as our platform being completely different from what they used to. Our platform actually provides, you know, um, stuff that you can actually use on a day-to-day -day basis, and the way that we, uh, when we present it, uh, you know, we try to make it as um, simple and and as applicable as possible. So, uh, and, and that's one of the things that we really wanted to accomplish with this platform. We didn't want it to be just another free book or training course or another free book or class or boot camp or something that something of that nature. We wanted to give you all a real um, um, hands-on how to dispatch freight, how to find your carriers, you know, not just how to do it, but provide you with the tools and resources and everything that, that you're going to need to make that happen, to build your book of business and, and to train your people, uh, the whole nine yards, how to how to do your invoices and showing you all what to do and how to send them out and, 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 and how to create your invoices, you know, with Square. Um, um. Now, you mentioned about reaching out to us. Uh, we have private consultations that you can schedule. If you go into your uh, your private consultation page, mm -hmm. go back to the top here. If you have private consultation, you can click on that, and you can schedule a private consultation. Um, private consultations are only done on um, Mondays, when, uh, Monday through Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I don't do private consultations on Thursday and Fridays or Saturdays. Or Sundays. So when you click on here, when it says click for your private consultation, it'll take you over to the booking page and you can book a private consultation. Now, the private consultation, they are not free, but our members get half off. Uh, normal fees are $100 per hour um, and $50 per half hour. Our members get it for $25 per half hour and $50 per hour on your private consultations. And okay. that's if you want some, that's if you want some one on one. Personal time, just me and you. You know, we'll, you know, we'll go online, right to the conference name, or you can see what I'm doing at, and we'll go over anything you want to go over step by step. If you want to know something, um, it, 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 you know, it's anything logistics. So if you want to know how to start your own trucking company, we'll show you how to get it started. We'll put you in touch with the people that can help you get it done. And you know, if you make a billion dollars a year, you just pay us our thirty nine dollars ninety five cents a month. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking for. So, Speaking of that, if I can share something with the rest of the group, man, um, sure. I am my own operator, and one thing I can say is, uh, you know, each and every one, everybody on this line right now is very well needed. One thing about being an owner operator, even if we go on that board or whatever board and find a load, mm -hmm. while we're driving, we can't find another load. Exactly. And I'll try exactly. to get to where we get our location, all the other good loads or whatever is, is pretty much gone or taken. Exactly. So, you know, now we're exactly. spending the whole day or whatever trying to find another load. We can't make money that way. So each and every one of us exactly. on this line right now is very well needed. Trust me. Exactly. So, I'm sorry? I think someone will say that, but yeah, but that's a great point because we hear all the time, you know, you know. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> what's the use of this kind of I'm sorry. She said, "Thank, thank you, you for sharing that information." Oh because yeah, thank you for sharing. Good. Okay, great. Well, yeah, great. A lot, of uh, that you call, a lot of on operators that you call, and they be like, yeah. "Well, no, I do it myself." And that's the point I try to make: to how can you find those when you're driving? Because it's been hard trying exactly. to get my driver low, and I'm not driving, and he's driving. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Look, 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 look. I don't care what people say. Dispatchers perform when it's done right. Now, when it's done right, you all perform an invaluable service. Okay, um, and that's why I wanted to change the name of what you all do from dispatchers to owner our business managers. So that's what you really are. 
we are really owner our business managers. We help them to manage their business of running a truck. That's what we do. Okay, we do a lot more than just dispatch freight. Okay, because when you get into you know finding loans that are gonna interconnect, that are gonna get them paid the most money doing your load acquisitions, you know, and the evaluations and your analysis and that type of stuff. Not everybody does that. And I can tell you for a fact, a lot of owner operators, they don't do that. They just look for the loads, oh, this load paying this much money, let's run that one. Oh, this load paying that, let's run that one. And then really cut themselves out of a lot of money doing it that way. But because they don't have the time to sit down and do what we do, that's what they have to do. So they're really, you know, doing themselves a real big disservice and, and, and they're cutting their throats, you know, when it comes to, you know, the potential of revenue earnings. And a good dispatcher can increase. I'm going to tell you right now, I tell on operators just straight up, if you got yourself a good owner our business manager, I can increase your revenue by almost forty percent. Now that ain't that ain't nothing to laugh at. That ain't nothing to shake a stick at. Almost forty percent. So if you was making a hundred thousand dollars a year, guess what? I'm gonna add another forty thousand dollars a year to it. Minimum. Okay. Most cases, I, most cases, I can double what you're making. I can help you double your revenue. In most cases, if you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year, I can help you make two hundred thousand dollars a year. Because mm-hmm. I'm gonna figure out where you like to run, what your home state is, right? Then I'm gonna try to while well, I'm finding you loads right now, but at the same time, in the in the in between time, I'm looking for that what? Those interconnecting short runs. That I can place you will. Right, get you off of those long hauls and get you off from being well with from home, put you back in your home state and have you running whole triangle and going home every night and putting the minimum of a grand in your pocket five days. You're going in and out. That's hard for you to do if you are run loads, make money, you know, see about your truck, do for you. I even take some of my own operators, right? And even though they're not in, in the state. Even though they're not in their home state, I got guys that are from New York, California. Man, this, I don't know what happened. His internet buffering. Right when he sends some good information. Did he go out on you guys' end as well, or is it just my end? No, no he, he went out on everybody. Oh, okay. Everybody. He, probably have, he probably have to go out and come back in. All right, sorry about that. And did I lose y'all for a second? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I lose y'all and what I lose y'all at? I was I was talking about I have I have some I have some carriers on operators that are from um, like California, New York, you know, uh, Carolinas, Ohio, and things like that. They come down to Florida. Um, and, and can y'all see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. And they come yes. down to Florida. And they come down to Florida, right? Because they got paid good money on coming down here. And they say, well, find me some loads. I said, well, I can't find anything going out right now, but run these three loads right here. There's three loads. Like, we had a very short loads. You know, when you get here, 
go, go over here and pick that one up. When you drop that one, go over here and pick that one up. Then you circle back around. I said, okay. I said, oh, yeah, that's good money. That's about, so I so you went these three loads, you make yourself about $1,600 or $1,700 or $1,500. Right? Then they run them. And I say, you, you want to get those same loads um, again on tomorrow? I said, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, now they know that I go home, right? <laughs> and they just not run the same load, right? But they know they can't get them. They're going to pay them that kind of money. So then I say to them, like, and they know those same loads, but, but they run five days a week. All right, yeah, but I'm trying to get back home. But that's your question. How often do, do you get home now? Uh, I usually stay out about sometime three weeks, you know, two, three weeks, you know, I, you know, I'll stay out. Okay, what if I told you you can go home every week and still make yourself about eight grand a week? Huh? Yeah, you be home every weekend and make yourself about eight grand a week. How are you going to do that? Just stay here in Florida. If I stay here in Florida, how am I going to get home? Man, I just showed you how to make eight grand. You can't catch a first class flight home? <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly. Think about that now. I just I just showed you how to make eight grand a week. You can't afford to catch a first class flight home. And then back on Sunday night and be ready to pick up a load on Monday morning. That's better what you're doing now. You said you go home, what, every two to three weeks, right? Right. I'm showing you how to make eight, and you're doing that, and you're only, you're only bringing home, what, 2500 to three grand a week. I'm showing you how to bring home eight grand a week and go home every weekend. Right? Exactly. You can't beat that. Exactly. I said, look, there's a truck stop, you know, right down what's here, the big love. They got, you know, um, security parking. You can park your truck in there. You can even take your truck to a garage and rent you a garage off of the weekend, right? Every weekend, just rent you a big storage space, you know, a big garage, back your truck in, back your truck in, and your trailer in, and leave it there, lock it up, right? Jump on your flight, head on home. First class. First class flight from Florida to California is about what? Three, four hundred bucks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ride in style. Fly in style. First class all the way. First class back. Be, you be refreshed, you're good to go, you're ready to go. You're in Florida, you got to worry about the bad weather. You got to worry about the, the snow. You got to worry about the hills. You're in Florida, man. <laughs> but you the flow. And now if you really want to do a B, if you really want to do a B, right, go ahead and get you a nice spot here in Florida, get you a nice, you know, nice little studio apartment or something, right? Bring your three loads and be back at your place every night. And then you go home every weekend. If you do that, I mean, you'll still take home about six grand a week. That's after paying for your flight home. That's after paying for your flight home and your apartment um, that you have here in Florida. See, these guys don't really think of the full potential of what they could be doing with the trucking industry. And that's where a good owner our business manager comes into play. Because you have the time to sit down and map this type of stuff out off of them and present it to them and show them what they could really be doing. Okay? I mean, truck drivers now, they operate and live like homeless people when they could be operating and living like airline pilots. Right? Right. Because that's what an airline pilot does. He flies all over the country, gets paid good money, and he flies back home and cheers for the weekend or, or cheers for two or three days, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of them have apartments in different cities that they're that they're running their routes to, 
when they get off shift, they go to, to their little apartment and they sleep or whatever they're going to do. Then on, then, then on the weekend, they fly back home and they spend time at home with the families. A truck driver should be living the same lifestyle if they know how to run, if they know how to run the business of trucking. And that's what an owner or business manager can do for you if they know what they are doing. You all have to start seeing you yourselves in a different light as true professionals. So if you start seeing yourself as true professionals, you'll start providing service like true professionals, and thus your clientele will start doing what? Living like true professionals. All right. If there's no questions on that note, we're going we're gonna to close it out for the night. All right. Um, that was our a Tuesday night spot training. Don't y'all forget tomorrow night is what? Q&A. Wednesday Q&A. So start jot, jot down your questions tonight and tomorrow during the day. Jot down your questions. Have your little tablets out. So when you come on tomorrow, it's all q and I'm not, I'm not going to do any training. You all are going to ask questions. I'm going to attempt to answer them. Plain and simple. Okay? All Q&A. And talk and dedicated an hour to just questions and answers. So be ready for that. All right? Um, appreciate y'all. <laughs> y'all, have, y'all have a good night. I've enjoyed it, as always. Look forward to seeing y'all here tomorrow night. And then this Saturday and probably next Saturday, um, we're going to have the 6th Street Book and Paper Home Show. And after that, we won't have anything until after um, New Year's. It'll probably be January the 4th or January the 11th, somewhere around there. Um, in between time and meantime, between the time my wife and I, we should be closing on, on our new home um, on the 19th, which is, which is her birthday. So we'll be doing moving. we got to pack up all this stuff. You know, we got this, this got this condo here, about 1,680 square feet, and you'll be amazed at how much stuff you can pack into this place in two years. And <laughs> so and we are the third, we're on the third floor, three flights of stairs. <laughs> so we got to get all this stuff packed up and downstairs into a truck and move it across town. Uh, we're moving on the to the outer edge of of Tallahassee, um, way out um, on the outer edge, uh, just before you get to the Georgia line. So we're on the outskirts, on the outer uh, outskirts of Tallahassee, at a um, um, kind of a, you know, some people call it an exclusive um, community. Um, you know, it's a uh, you know, homes on lakefront view homes. You know, we have a lakefront view home um, that we purchased, and um, we love it. Um, it's a no, great, great little home. I, I don't know if y'all have seen it, but. Um, I've got some pictures on Facebook that I can show you all real quick. Give you all a, a kind of a, um, a quick view of it. Congratulations. on that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, my wife loves it. She deserves it. I've been, uh, you, know, you, know, you know, I told her, you know, because y'all know I chased her for 17 years. That's my wife. All right, by the way. <laughs> y'all, know I, y'all know I chased that woman for 17 years. 17 years. Now, I know y'all are probably saying she looks young. She, she, she's like, I'm 36 years old, so she's not that young. She's like 36, 37 years old. She's not that young, y'all. <laughs> Trust me on that. But I've known her for oh, about 18 years, and we started dating about 13, 12, 13 years ago. So, uh, but... I mean, I knew I was in love with her two years before that, <laughs> before we started dating. So, <laughs> so um, you yeah, know, we spent some time together. Uh, but this is the home. Um, you know, it's uh, kind of a unique looking home. You know, we like it. Um, you know, uh, roughly 2,000 square feet. It's on a little over half acre lot, and it's a lakefront home. Um, um, you know, nice big bike deck and everything. We've got plans, you know, off of a big backyard, you know, um, outdoor kitchen and things like that. So it's a lot of, you know, uh, uh, unique, you know, uh, floor plan. Uh, you know, we like it. Love, we fell in love with the staircase and the the ankles and the light where they have it. 
plan on changing those out to the safari type fans. I don't know if y'all know what those are. Those are like the ones that have the blades that turn like propellers yeah. on the side yeah. instead of the ones that turn flat. I'm going to change those out to the safari ones. Uh, you know, unique bathrooms and things like that. Uh, we're taking one of the we're taking one of the bedrooms and we're going to have it. Um, 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 Did you see it? No, I, I, I didn't know if it was my screen or not. I thought I was sharing the screen. I'm, I'm talking about this nice home. Y'all ain't even seeing it. <laughs> no, I can't see it either. We see you. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that, y'all. Mr. Butler, when is the barbecue? When is the barbecue? So when is the barbecue? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we gotta. Uh, we gotta. Be, uh, hopefully, we have our housewarming here around about the middle of January. So. Uh, Summertime. But that's it right there. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's it right there. Uh, yeah. Nice. Um, right here. This is about 2,000 square feet. Uh, we're taking one of the bedrooms and we're converting one of the bedrooms into a full uh, walk in closet and a luxury bath uh, with the you know, jacuzzi, the sauna, and stuff like that. So, got lots of plans for, for the backyard. Um, oh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, and this staircase is what really, really caused us to fall in love with this song. <laughs> I love the staircase and the and the big windows and the lots of light and and the, those ceiling fans would would change those out into the 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 propeller type fans, the ones that's you know they will fit on the side instead of going flat. Like uh big propellers on a plane. Uh, the big you know, fan types. Um. Yeah, love the you know the kind of the throwback style bathrooms, <laughs> you know, uh, showers and sinks and stuff. So um, it's a beautiful home. I mean, you know, um, air a lot sits on it. Got the gazebo outside. We're gonna add to the gazebo. Uh, very large backyard. We got a pool deck that runs the whole back side of the home. And of course, uh, get to the backyard, That's dining nice. room. So large, another area there in the kitchen, it's like a little family room area. You know, the big French doors and things like that. So uh, <laughs> yeah, lots of things. I thought that was a closet. But apparently that's the library, like a, a mini office in a library. You know, I see you put shoes in it. <laughs> uh, this room right here we're probably going to turn into a to a walk-in closet and another uh, luxury bath. So, and that's the bedroom. And get to the backyard. It's a very large backyard. There's a big lake out there. Lots of room for the dogs. So, very large backyard. So, um, you know, great for entertaining, you know, things like that. Beautiful home. Yeah. Thank you. And that's, a, and that's the... The second part of the backyard, we're gonna gate this off. So we've got another dog that's pretty mean. Um, he's 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 our house dog's dad, and he's a very large white blue nose pit. I don't know if y'all seen my dog. I have a white blue nose pit. Uh, he's pretty good size, but he's real friendly. But his dad is like vicious. <laughs> he's not a he's not deadly, but just don't come in the yard if if it. If you haven't been invited, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Please don't come to the yard if you haven't been invited. <laughs> but we're gonna um, gate this area off, and this is gonna be his area. <laughs> um, and then the other area back over here that's isolated behind the house. This is on the side, so we're gonna gate this area off, um, and that's where his area is gonna be. Um, we're gonna turn that into his private dog house and stuff. And uh, that's going to be his area, and we're going to have a we have a we have a gate 
let's put it over here. So at night we'll bring our his son and our friendly dog inside, and then we'll let him roam the entire backyard at night because he's more of a guard dog. Uh, um, but he does everything that, uh, it's a, and that's our floor mat that you call first. <laughs> that's our floor mat. Um, but, um, but he does everything that my wife tells him to do. Um, there's my car parked outside when I was, was you know, kind of looking over the house and everything. So, um, but he does everything my wife tells him to do. He is, um, yeah, um, very obedient dog, but he is, but he is mean. So, but there you have it. Um, so hopefully we'll get all moved in here in the next uh, few weeks. Um, they're finishing up the appraisal, and that's the last thing they have before we do our closing on the 19th. All right, everybody. Uh, but uh, this shows you all what this business can do for you. Okay? Um, it really does. Um, in case a lot of y'all who, you know, if you don't know, you know, I started out nine years ago homeless at the homeless shelter. Um, I have an entire series online called Diaries of a Homeless Entrepreneur. You can go to YouTube and you can pull it up. You can Google it. You can Bing it. Uh, you can just Google, you know, homeless entrepreneur in Tallahassee, Diaries of a Homeless Entrepreneur. Uh, if, you, if you do that, it will pull up uh, like about 140 videos in the entire um, series, and there I am right there. And these are all the videos of when I was homeless and I was interviewing other homeless people and talking about their business ideas and things, things of that nature. But, uh, you know, i got an entire series online um, from the – and that was my first day homeless, you know, <laughs> didn't know what I was going to do, how I was going to make it, but I knew that I wasn't going to stay homeless, and I knew I was going to start my own business, so I just started, you know, filming and recording and just showing people that, you know, what I was doing every day to, to get myself out of the shelter and running my own business, and I've been recording ever since. So, you know, if you are looking where you are now, and the tools and resources and the things that you have at your disposal. And then look where I started from. <laughs> I mean, you can't, you can't tell me you can't accomplish great things because I know better, especially in this industry. Because I, I, cause I started quite a few businesses before I got here. I started my own tax firm, had my own parts, um, uh, uh, my own parts company, you know, things like, and things of that nature. Uh, you know, so I did a lot of some things that were mildly successful, but this is by far the most successful thing that I've ever done was coming into the trucking industry. And, you know, and, 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 and this just blows everything away. So if I started from there, from <laughs> homeless, uh, and doing things that were, that didn't have the potential that this has, Look where you are now and what you have and where you're at, your situation now versus where I was, you got a hundred times better chance of gaining success quicker and faster than I did. Okay, so just keep that in mind because the trucking industry can do it for you. You all know that you know, this is a great industry. You all know money is being made this in this industry hand over fist. You see it every single day. <laughs> I mean, you do. You see it every single day. You just got to take the necessary steps to make it happen for you. And uh, just got to stay focused, uh, you know, stay consistent, and just keep doing the repetitive things day in and day out. And, I, and, and if you do that, I promise you, you'll get there. I promise you, you will. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. Um, but with that being said, I thank you all. I appreciate you all. Thank you all for joining us, and I uh, look forward to seeing you all tomorrow night on Q&A. Make sure you have your questions ready, and uh, we'll be ready to answer them for you. Y'all have a good night. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night.